Hello and welcome to this tutorial. This is a beginner's guide on how to set up Paraforce on a Google Cloud instance. I already created this instance um, a tutorial on how to create those instances to work with Paraforce. You can look in the description there. I, I linked a few guides on how to do this for beginners. And now we want to set up Paraforce on this server instance. We will do a lot of um, command line tasks, so if you're afraid of command lines, you don't have to have any knowledge about this, and you only have to know how to copy and paste. And I think this is the easiest, easiest way, because there would be another way to uh, copy and paste the the executables uh, to the server and download download it first to your um, desktop computer and i think this is a uh, maybe a much harder way and we will follow the official um, installation guide and i will maybe uh, make some things clearer to you and um, show you how to do it so to get started we have to click on ssh to open a window uh, with an SSH connection. This is a type of connection where you can run commands inside your uh, instance. Yes, and here we are on our server instance. This is also a newly created blank instance, so should uh, uh, look like this on your machine. First of all you can um, go with clear to have a fully blank window. Now uh, we have to use a few commands but you really just can type it and don't understand anything. Let's type in sudo. This is a command to... I will explain it a little bit so you maybe understand just briefly how this works. This is a command where you can make administrative tasks and we do apt update after this is finished you can go type again sudo apt and upgrade this time it asks you if you want to continue and you type epsilon and click enter this is for just um, making sure that you have the newest version and the newest programs and stuff on your server instance. This may take a while and uh, freeze because this is a very uh, slow version of a computer so don't worry if it freezes for some time. So now we just close or we just move this window and make it split screen and now we go to this site. Um, I linked it in this description. This is the installation guide on Ubuntu. And we just do step by step. Verify the public key is the first step. You have to download the public key at this site. And we just do everything via our instance so we don't have to download anything on our own computer we just download it inside our server instance here first i clear this with clear oh it's just disappeared yeah, here it is so uh, type in w get space and just copy with control c and paste with control V and hit enter. This should just download um, this uh, public key and now we just do the same um, operations here. Um, copy paste and here um, there's a new thing that doesn't work anymore. If you press the up key in this window you get the uh, same command that you already used and we just remove this with fingerprint by pressing the back button 
and hit enter again. And here we see that fingerprint and it should match this fingerprint. If it doesn't, I don't think it won't, but it's a security action. So if it doesn't match, uh, you shouldn't go on with your steps. But I think it will just match and then you can go ahead with the instructions for installation on APT Ubuntu. So this is just again copy and paste, copy, paste and, and it says OK. Now it's a little bit uh, more difficult. We have to make a, a file with text which is named perforce.list and inside we have to write this. Um, we will do this with a little program that is al already installed on Ubuntu. So this is named vm and we have to do this uh, command with sudo vim and now we have to copy this path paste it in here and hit enter now with this command in this directory created uh, this text file and now we can enter text inside here. Vim is a little bit difficult to use because it's not really intuitive. You have to know some basic commands. So if you're here, you just click I and uh, there it says insert. And now you can copy this and paste it inside here. Now we have to do this um, correction set of distro bionic because we have installed the bionic release on this instance. Then we hit escape. Now we are in initial status here. And if you go I again, if you hit I again, you are again in insert and can insert things. If you hit escape, you are again in this uh, initial status. And then you have to write this command. And hit enter. This saves it and closes the Vim application. Now everything should be set up in this text file. So we can, like uh, at the very beginning, we can run again sudo apt and update. And you can just type sudo apt update instead of apt get. You don't need to type this. Um, and then you have to type, um, like it says, sudo apt install helix p4d. And this is the step where you actually install uh, the Perforce application and this may take a while. You have to say yes to the installation and click enter. Okay, if you're here and it looks like this, you um, have installed Perfos on your server instance. Congratulations! Now we're going to configure um, your installation with this um, command. So just copy and paste. Uh, we can go here to the post installation configuration and here uh, you have a overview on what each configuration means. So here you have to configure Helix P4D SH and the path is this one. So you can just use this command. Yeah, like here. Uh, you don't have to type minus H. It's okay, just like this. So uh, we will go through this just um, step by step. Here we click enter. And now it says perfect server's name, master just press enter. Now we are purple server root, just click enter and it says create your directory, just press epsilon and press enter. The next one is purple server unicode mode, just press enter. Uh, case sensitive, just press enter. The server address, this is L 
1666 SSL says it's encrypted and I was just let it be like this just press enter uh, super user login super it's a good one super user password just type a password if you type this password you will see that it doesn't show up this doesn't matter at all because um, this is a security thing that it doesn't make like little stars or something you have to type it and press enter then re-enter the password um, it should match okay and um, everything is configured congratulations now you have um, the full control over your configuration on your server. So you can go ahead and learn some um, commands to uh, make configurations in here in this command prompt. We will do it in uh, Perforce Admin. It's a visual client and it's uh, more intuitive. So we go full screen here and search for Perforce v should show up and just brings bring you on this side I will link it in the description also and here you have to download Perforce if you if you didn't already do it so it's just if you didn't download it and you have to download only the visual client not the peer Perforce server because we downloaded it on and installed it on our server instance. So if uh, you downloaded it, click on it, say yes, and uh, I think this is not a problem. I don't know. Um, click next, install everything except this. I don't think you need this. And here at the server, you ne have to type in. SSL and then you go have to go to the compute engine and take the external IP copy it or just by clicking copy to clipboard clipboard and paste it inside here and then it should look like this this is SSSL this is the static external IP of your instance and this is the port for the username you maybe use super because we have to connect to our instance with the administrator account yeah so click install and wait until it until it finished so if it is finished click close and now and type in p for admin you should go open connection type in sssl your ip and 1666 columns between and your name should be super because you try to connect as a administrator which you call super in your configurations of the server and if you hit ok there should show up a message if you want to trust this fingerprint and you can trust the fingerprint yeah then it should connect and you see this interface here I already set the security level to low you can do this by click administration password security level and here you can change your security level if you check no no password is required for your users if you want every user to have password you can choose one of these and here you can create a new user we just name it user we don't need a password and it says user at gmail.com user one and hit ok uh, and now we should be able to open P4V um, and type in SSSL your external IP address port and user as the user and hit OK and now it should connect to P4V and that's the last step to completing the installation of your Perfor server so congratulations, I hope it all worked. If it didn't, please go ahead and join my Discord server. I will try to answer your questions. You can also just uh, write it in the comments. Yeah, I hope it all worked and I hope you have a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye.